Renu Omokri has taken an open shot at Omoyele Sonwori, calling him a blackmailer and a liar via a report to a request a fan made on Twitter. What brought such response from the former special advisor to ex-president Gulog Jonathan was as a result of a post he made on Twitter acknowledging that many Nigerian churches complied with his NSAC suggestion. His full tweet read, Yesterday, I tweeted that every church in Nigeria should as a matter of urgency speak on the NSAC movement in support of the human rights of Nigerians. I am glad to report widespread compliance with my suggestion by Nigerian churches. My constituency did not even disgrace me. One fan who saw his message felt that a term of Reno Mokri and Omoyele Sonwori will bring a better Nigeria and thus wrote, Man work with Sonwori. Then we have a new Nigerian that we want. You both got the clue and great ideas. In the reaction to the fans' comments, Reno Omokri quickly replied, he said, no thanks. Omoyele Sonwori is a common blackmailer, a highly honest, uh, a highly dishonest person, ripping what he never sold. He used lies to install President Momodou Buhari, then turned against him because he was not made a minister like Festus Keyamo. Light and darkness can never mix. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Viewers, do you know that Orenomokri is still bitter about the loss of his clueless master? That is the ex president, Glock Jonathan. The way he was removed when during his regime. That is why Omokri is still angry with anybody that, um, that criticizes his boss. But with what? Reno Mokri I just said about some worry. A lot of people buy, it, buy the idea. A lot of people supported him, while some did not. People have shot their memories in this part of the, the world. They have shot their memory because they know how the world is going and how the president has been using his, uh, his negligence to treat the issues in this country. Sonwori cannot be trusted. That is what Reno Mokri said. He said Sonwori cannot be trusted and people can, can't just even see that. They keep believing him, believing everything he says. But Reno Mokri is the only one that knows his secrets. And he knows that he has been lying and a blackmailer. I absolutely agree with Reno Mokri. If Sonwori has been honored with a ministerial appointment, he would have kept his mouth shut, just like a, a Kiyamo. Besides, we, uh, a, 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 we exaggerate his smartness a bit. For me to give my vote to Sonwori with money, and I'll give it to Fela for free. It was Sonwori before I used to think that he is a good man. But now that the way it behaves, I now know that he is not. The way they did to Golok Jonathan, that was what made me know that Sonwori and uh, the rest people, they are all liars and blackmailers. In my view, on my opinion, Jonathan have presided over a prosperous period in the history of nation but with very little to show for it. He gave everyone who supported Buhari the reason to do that. Imagine that despite what they did to him, he still campaigned for Buhari. He's a good man. Now people are regretting those that supported Buhari are now regretting why they, they supported Buhari and never supported Glo uh, Jonathan. Despite everything he did, but despite supporting Buhari, asking people to support Buhari, 
he never even had have it in mind to say uh, uh, to say evil or to, to, uh, to criticize President Mondo Buhari in the presence of Nigerians. But look at President Mondo Buhari, look at what they did to him. They drove him out of the seat. Now, it is clear that President Mondo Buhari is a very bad choice. He is. It's a very bad choice. Now they are just, they are just realizing that after they have elected President Mondo Buhari as the president. We no more Christians. Stop talking about Jonathan's loss. But we already know the pains Jonathan is going through and the pains the normal Chris is also going through. He knows that he cannot back up with allegations against Sonwori. He cannot back it up. And Sonwori has always been vocal about not wanting to work with this civil government. They are all thieves. So... The allegations from Renu Mokri are just nothing to be to be talked about. They are just mere issues that, that even Nigerians have solved. They have solved. They know what is going on in this country and they are now regretting why President Mondubra should be the president of Nigeria. So they can't do anything because it's still there. When the, the when they will react is 2023. When President Mondubari will live in the seat. So for now, there's no time. It has passed. So there's nothing anybody can do about it. So the normal Mokri has spoken the truth to some of you who did not even know that Sonwori is the owner of Sahara Report, a Republic newspaper, which at the time was used to uh, malign the former President Gulo Jonathan and the government of PDP would not understand the depth and gravity of Sonwori or what Sonwori used to prepare his cohort Buhari to take over the government. Sonwori is a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. It's a bad teacher of a curious and a calumous. He's so callous. He's a bad person. You could never know, knew that this is the kind of person he is until they find out what he did to Gulag Jonathan during his time. Imagine, he that brought President Mondubari in as a president, look at him, he's now regretting and t saying, talking ill about President Mondubari, criticizing him as well. You don't need to criticize because you were the one that brought him there. So you shouldn't say anything more than what you are saying or what you have seen. That is it. Omokri is so angry with Sonwori because he refused to support Gulag Jonathan in 2015 and he supported President Mohamed Buhari. That is not fair. It's not fair at all. So you should be very careful how you speak ill of others because you are equally guilty of the same offense. Talking about Sonwori, you are equally guilty of the same offense you are accusing people. Honestly, Omokri has a basket mouth. He talks too much. He talks too much. People like him that is busy destroying other others cannot be trusted. A man that always thinks that it's only him that is right in everything. He is the worst man on earth. To some and not to some. So you should be careful of people like him that have small brains. That is it. She be careful. She be careful. So I think Grandma Mokri is right in any way, every way, in everything you just said. So worry is too desperate. And when one is desperate as every everything, then he cannot he can do an undo. Do you know that? He can do an undo. So he did not he he, he did everything to make Buhari become the president. Imagine, how then did he return around to fight Peste Mondubari again? Actually, he is, not, he is not to be trusted. You brought someone in and because the person is not dancing to your tomb, you now decide to, keep, to back the person. I know that it is only this, uh, uh, the suffering Nigerians 
that still supports and defend President Mondo Buhari and his crew, despite everything he has done to Nigerians. So the, the, the comfortable Nigerians are indifferent, but they criticize Buhari's administration once in a while. Thank you, Reno Mokri, for being the voice of the masses. So viewers, what is your take concerning what Reno Mokri has just said about Sonwori? Your comment concerning this news is very much important. Please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish any new videos. Thank you.